Welcome to the Parenting Roundabout podcast for the week of November 1st, 2021. It's November, y'all. It's November. <laughs> I'm Terry Morrow, and I'm here with Nicole Eredix. Hello. And Catherine Holeko. Hello. Every week, we chat about the things parents are talking about, complaining about, and obsessing about right now. This week, we're complaining about daylight savings time and obsessing about what we to do for our kids. We also take a couple of breaks for an entertainment discussion and a recommendation roundup. Today, we are talking about the perils of praise. This jumps off from our chat last week about parenting jinxes. And we're sort of thinking about how praise and positive reinforcement is a good thing, right? That's what everybody <laughs> says to do. Parents, parents, not so much with the negative, positives. Every time your child does something that's good, you got to tell them it's wonderful. And yet we sort of feel that maybe sometimes that backfires. Have you had that experience, Catherine? I think you were worrying about this. Yeah, yeah. I was just worrying that you know, pointing out that I noticed something would, would jinx it, you know, would prompt my child to be like, well, I'm not doing that anymore, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, (laughs) And, you know, I just, I I guess I worry that um, my one kid in particular is like super sensitive to like over effusiveness. (laughs) You know, just doesn't yeah. want to just doesn't want to hear the whole like, you're so great, right. you know, and uh, I'm so proud of you. And uh, like, I don't know if it's the tone of voice that he feels mm-hmm. is not sincere or, mm, you know, yeah. what it is like, you know, there's been teachers that he's complained about <laughs> because I think he feels kind of like patronized. Yeah, um, that sometimes. is hard. So, yeah, so it's like a real fine line with that kid, you know, Um, because I do want to acknowledge, you know, Mm -hmm. when good things happen, especially when that's like rare, (laughs) (laughs) you know, I mean, how else do you encourage it to keep happening? So, um, but yeah, it just feels very tricky. It's hard to calibrate. Yeah. Uh, I know uh, it the the constant commenting on positive things was a really useful strategy when my son was young mm-hmm. but you know instead of looking for bad things look for positive or neutral things and and call them out right but the key was to do it non-emotionally mm-hmm. just right. as an observer yeah uh, and that's hard I mean, it's it's easy when you are looking for things to say something nice about, oh, I like the fact that you didn't throw your cars right there. That was very good. But when it's something you're really legitimately excited about, yeah. it's hard not to be excited. And then you feel like, well, if I don't act excited, will they think I don't care? Yeah. Mm, it's hard. Yeah. If I if I don't say anything, will they think, well, no one noticed. So I'm not going to bother anymore. <laughs> yeah. And, and then there's the concern that if you praise it too much, you're putting pressure on them to do it again. And then mm-hmm. that's stressful. Right. I may have felt a little bit of that when I was a kid, knowing that my mom was so heavily invested in me doing certain things. And if like, I was unable to do them, then am I a disappointment? Mm-hmm. Which is not all at all what she intended, I am sure. Right. But uh, golly, being a parent stinks, you know? <laughs> You can just like every time you turn around, there's something that's showing you you're not doing it right. Well, both of my kids, they they live for positive reinforcement. So mm-hmm. maybe I didn't actually give it enough. <laughs> 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 no, um, they both, yeah, they'll both respond to it. I guess, or either that or they're people pleasers. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Did I you haven't had issues with them? <laughs> did you ever that. notice as a teacher that there were some kids who would would perform well for positive reinforcement and others who were just like kind of daring you to? Yeah, there it was very few. Yeah. So but they were kind of like, are you kidding me? This isn't <laughs> gonna work for me. <laughs> right. <laughs> I am on to you, lady. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And then 
of course it didn't work if you oversaturated them with positive yeah. praise because then they just got used to it right and it wasn't a big deal yeah right? um but yeah only you know probably only maybe two or three in like a span of 15 years mm. did not respond or just let you know would just glare at me <laughs> <laughs> So. Like, okay, time to come up with a new trick. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. It was like, oh, oh, I'm not gonna, can't do anything with that one. Mm-hmm. I mean, I definitely understand the whole like praise the effort, not the outcome that you, that you hear so much about. But again, you know, is that sort of, patronizing in yeah. some cases that you know really like, does feel condescending then right like, like especially you the tried so hard you know <laughs> like and they're like yeah but I failed the test or I you know missed the mm-hmm. goal or whatever yeah. it was and so they yeah. they don't see the you know what <laughs> what you're praising yeah they know they're getting the consolation prize Mm-hmm. but then it, but then it That's feels bad then if you're not if they do pass the test or win the game or whatever are you supposed to not say yeah you you won right. you did it you passed you're the best and then you know if you're just buying I mean, you're supposed to say <laughs> you worked so hard and it paid off or something right. I guess is what you're supposed I to I gotta think that's unsatisfying I don't know <laughs> it's just I think it I think it doesn't work from both sides mm-hmm person who didn't win or pass still knows they didn't and yeah, yeah I see this in Special Olympics mm-hmm. that it's all very very designed to yay you for doing this you are the best you are terrific if you win that's great if you don't win that's still great here's a ribbon mm-hmm. and it's all very well intentioned and I don't know what else you could do but at the mm-hmm. same time those participants know whether they won or lost and they know that other people lost and they won. And there's a, there's a fair amount of smack talk amongst the athletes. Even if everybody <laughs> else around them is yay, everybody, yay. Right. It's still, mm-hmm. how can you only got a bronze? I got a gold. See my gold medal. You only got a bronze. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> how do I tell these athletes? No, it's the effort because right. if they won, they're proud and they want everybody to be proud of them. So right, right. I think that's it's that's true for everybody that mm-hmm. uh, I don't know. I'm I understand the the intentions behind praising effort, and I think they are all good, but possibly not reflective of human nature. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely needs to be um delivered in an authentic (laughs) meaningful way right and and at key moments Mm -hmm. which as parents we don't have time to sit down (laughs) and think about all that (laughs) i just finished doing a a course on aba in my program so (laughs) this positive reinforcement is fresh in my mind yeah (laughs) Yeah. so I'm thinking yeah no wonder it doesn't work because we we're all over the map with that stuff because we don't have the time to sit down and think about that's right when to use it and yeah what intervals and yeah Yeah, a proper plan of praise definitely involves the parent being super into it and having absolutely nothing else to do. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) And having no human emotions of their own, just. Exactly. I live to carry out this parenting plan to a T. (laughs) No problem. (laughs) (laughs) I didn't just get caught in a traffic jam and then, you know. (laughs) stub my toe coming in and then I couldn't find my keys and I had a terrible day at work, but I will speak with exactly the correct calibration mm-hmm. of mm-hmm. praise mm-hmm. and no emotion. Mm-hmm. It'll be great. At one minute intervals. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I don't know. I still, I still try to give my kids positive reinforcement, but I don't think it works for any of us really. I think we're all just going through the motions now. <laughs> I say the thing and they say, oh, thank you. 
and then we go about our go about our days. And then you move on. <laughs> And of course, there's always when I give positive praise, it seems with my daughter, there's always a but. I see how hard you're trying with this thing, but maybe (laughs) you're so smart. I bet you could do it this way. Yeah, you. (laughs) Yeah, it gets a little complicated when they're 30, you know. Mm -hmm. 31, Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. See, I can't even remember her age, but, um, (laughs) you know there's the the payoffs are different right (laughs) you have to reset that calibration (laughs) well this way we'll set the thermostat the way you like honey (laughs) there you go positive (laughs) consequence absolutely (laughs) (laughs) well we I praise you both for having a discussion about this. Um, and I praise our listeners for joining us today, making the effort to switch on that podcast player. So Just remember, as you listen to good this, job. it's all about effort. It doesn't matter if it's a good podcast yes. or not. We are trying really hard. <laughs> we are trying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, but we're going to give ourselves a break and say that's it for today's round one. Tune in tomorrow for our entertainment themed round two and later in the week to find out what we're complaining about, obsessing about and recommending right now. We're always interested in what you have to say. So drop us a comment on our website, our Facebook page or Twitter. You'll find us at Roundabout Chat. <laughs>